Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in the previous lesson for Skaterfall, we created a new room, we set up the room properties, the width and height, and we also enabled the viewport, specifically viewport zero. We also set the camera properties and the viewport properties. If we hit run, all we're gonna get is a nice white screen here, and I'll just drag this over to the window so you guys can see, and there's nothing in there. So this lesson, we're gonna start importing our sprites, and we'll get to work. We'll right click on sprites and say create sprite, and we'll call this one SPR floor. And what we wanna do is import an image, and we'll import the floor tile here. We'll just say yes, as the game maker is gonna resize our image for us. And now we have a sprite which is 256 pixels wide by 17 in height. So I'll make sure that we put the middle all the way to the left. And now if we go into our room, I can create an asset layer and I'll just name this stock because this is something that will come back and will change. I'll make sure that I change my grid size to one and I'll just set it to black so I can see what we're doing. When I select SPR floor, I can hold the alt key and I can just drop it in my room. So now we have one floor tile in here. I can drop another one in, just make sure that they're properly lined up. And now we have our floor in here. Now let's create another sprite. We'll call this one SPR backgrounds. Now this is gonna be a strip image. So we have to say edit the image and we didn't change the size, but if we go to image and import strip image and we import our skateboard tiles, well we have four tiles per row and the width is 256 and the height is 256. But if we zoom in here, you can see that we have a gap between each of them. I've set a four pixel separation in between each of these tiles. You can see that, that one's not really lining up, but maybe that's something that we can fix. Let's check the rest of them here. That one's fine and that one's fine. So for some reason, it's really just this one tile. Now it's missing some of the artwork, so we can we can easily fix this. We'll hit convert, and we'll allow Game Maker to resize our sprite, and also put the frames in different numbers here. So if we visit uh, frame number two, we zoom in, you can see that we're missing some of this information here. So we'll just go ahead and fix this up. So just a tiny bit of sprite work here. We'll just draw a line all the way down for the locker. We will grab the, oh, that's not gonna work. We will grab the black here and make sure that we come in properly. And I'm not really gonna care that much about making the background a tile. Oops. I will fix the banner and for this I'm just gonna go ahead and put these in here like this so I'm not gonna randomize anything here I'm just filling the rest of it in just so we can get going here all right all right so that's been fixed now you'll see some of these have shadows and some of them don't and what's gonna happen is these are gonna overlap the floor so back in our room, what we can do is we can, on our stock layer, we can add a new sprite. Now we can click on SPR backgrounds, and when we come in, if we hold alt, we'll get this giant background here, which we can just kind of put right down here on the floor. So you can see that our shadows are coming in. And we could also put the second one in here and just like that, we'll move this up a tiny bit. Now our shadows are in there and we kind of have our scene working. In the next lesson, we're gonna be taking some of these sprites and making them into objects so we can move them on the screen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.